This is a Peugeot 208 with a Corsa shell. It's almost like the Starlet Palino situation. Almost being the keyword because hey, you guys like silly arguments. Previously, Opel and Chevrolet cars were sold by General Motors and they left South Africa at the end of 2017, Wara Wara. And you already know that story if you've been following the channel for a while. As booming up. So now Opel cars are sold under the Stellantis group. Which is why no so the Opel would declare under the same roof as Peugeot and Citroën. So wherever there's a Peugeot and Citroën, that's where you'll find the Corsa. In simple terms, we can summarize say the Peugeot 208 and the Corsa are fraternal twins. Welcome to another video. <laughs> In front, the Corsa looks just like any other car, nothing too special and nothing to complain about. But between this and the Peugeot 208, I think the 208 looks nicer in as far as the front design is concerned. I normally talk about pricing towards the end of the video, but with this car, I need to eliminate one carriage before we carry on with the review. The entry-level Corsa has a 1.2 litre engine with a power output of 55 kilowatts and 118 Nm of torque and no table. Price-wise, it costs a whopping 300,000 rands, and I think you can already see where I'm going with this. The new Toyota Starlet has a 1.5 litre engine with a power output of 77 kilowatts and 138 Nm of torque. That's more power than the entry-level Corsa and it only costs 226,000 rands as Pumela. A 1.2 Kia Picanto Street has a power output of 61 kilowatts and 122 Nm of torque and it only costs 219,000 rands. A Polo Vivo Trendline has a power output of 55 kilowatts and 130 Nm of torque and it only costs 235,000 rands. I can go on but I think you get the point. The Rotten Potato is now out of the pack. So we are left with the Corsa 1.2T Edition and 1.2T Elegance. On the side, alloy wheels, standard. Black mirrors with some integrated turning signals. Everything else is plain and simple and it's all love. Lanza kumo valeya bor. It looks scaly marsh bo an miela kos vata kun complain an gop. The boot space is 309 liters which is smaller than all the mid-size hatchbacks I've reviewed so far. This review is going so well, no violence till this point. Let's look at the interior. The dashboard layout is not too complicated and I love it. Multimedia screen is well integrated into the dash and it doesn't look like an afterthought. And there's a multifunction steering wheel. If you complain here you have a problem, but I don't really like the feel of the steering wheel though. It feels so plasticky and hard, you would swear it's made out of melted Tupperware caftines. Legroom at the back is decent, and if anyone complains about space, just know that they are a VW fan. In terms of performance, the entry-level naturally aspirated rotten potato is already out of the pack, so we won't talk about it. We will focus on the addition and elegance. Both models have a 1.2 litre turbocharged engine, but the addition model only has a power output of 74 kilowatts and 205 Nm of torque, while the top of the range elegance produces 96 kilowatts of power and 230 Nm of torque. That's more or less the same power you get with the Suzuki Swift Sport. And between the top of the range Corsa and the Swift Sport, I'd go for the Corsa and I'll explain why in the Suzuki Swift Sport review. The Corsa edition moves from 0 to 100 in 9.9 .9 seconds and the top speed is 194 km per hour while the Elegance moves from 0 to 100 in just 8.7 seconds with a top speed of 208 km per hour. The claimed average fuel consumption is 5.7 liters per 100 kilometers for the edition and 6.3 for the top of the range elegance. The sweet spot in the Corsa range is the Corsa 1.2T edition, but it is not available with an automatic transmission though. 
if you want automatic you must go for the top of the range so now i must spend 410,000 rands on a 1.2 liter three cylinder hatchback just to get an automatic gearbox art willing the snacks now let's assume you are a reasonable person like me and you would go for the Corsa 1.2 T edition. You will pay roughly 1,500 for insurance. The edition costs 340,000 rands, and if you finance a 340,000 rands car for five years with no deposit and no balloon payment, at the current prime lending rate of 8.25%, your monthly installment will be approximately 6,900. 6,900 plus 1,500 for insurance, is 8,400. Add 1,600 nyana for petrol, and that's a young 10,000 rands. Easy. Would I recommend this car? I am not sure. So, would I buy it? Yes and no, depending on who's asking. For those who are wondering, how is this car similar to the Peugeot 208? Well, it's because the cars share the same platform. So under the shell, the Corsa is just a Peugeot 208. The Corsa 1.2T edition is exactly similar to the Peugeot 208 Allure and the top of the range Corsa Elegance is exactly similar to the Peugeot 208 GT. The crazy part is that the Peugeot 208 GT costs 450,000 rands while the top of the range Corsa Elegance costs only 410,000 rands. Sangan of the highest order.